Avatar The Last Airbender is considered one of the greatest animated series of all time. I'd even go one step further and say it's one of the greatest series of all time, full stop, animated or not. The series is so well crafted from start to finish that when a live action series was announced, many of us questioned whether this was needed. What's the point of remaking a show that is so good? That said, I think there's some areas that could be expanded on. So here's five things I think could be improved on by Netflix for their version of Avatar The Last Airbender. Welcome to Cinemaze, and if you're new around here, subscribe for more content like this every Friday. Avatar The Last Airbender is a fantastic show, and it's one that uses the form of animation to its advantage. Many animated shows feel like they would be better in live action, but due to budget reasons, they're made in animation. The Last Airbender doesn't do this. It feels like it's better off existing as an animated show. Using animation for many visual jokes, fluid action scenes, and bringing in a voice cast who perfectly fit these characters. I would be more interested in new live action projects set in this world instead of remaking something we've already seen. That said, it is cool to think of how moments of this show would look in live action in a project that's not an absolute disaster. Realistically, from what we know so far, it seems like the new Netflix series will be fine, maybe even good, bringing in a great cast who fit the world and made out of love for the original. That said, it is unlikely this show will be better than the original series and it's unlikely to do anything new or interesting. It feels like it will be a by the book live action remake bringing some of our favourite moments of the show into real life without doing anything unique or groundbreaking. Really the purpose of a remake like this is twofold. Number one, recapture the imagination and nostalgia of past fans, bringing the show to life and allowing us to relive some of our favorite moments in live action. And number two, capture the imagination of new fans who may enjoy the show and then go and watch the original show for the first time as a result. So we should keep these reasons in mind when we're thinking about ways to improve the original. So here's my five things that could be improved by Netflix for their version of Avatar The Last Airbender. Number five, Lion Turtle Foreshadowing. There's very few criticisms that you hear about the show, but one of the most common ones is the introduction of the Lion Turtle last minute in Series 3 to quickly solve Aang's problem of not wanting to kill the Fire Lord. Lion Turtles had not previously been established, and while their background has now further been fleshed out in The Legend of Korra, their initial introduction here has been considered a deus ex machina, a plot device to solve a problem unexpectedly. So I think for the live action series, this could be improved. Now, the problem is not the Lion Turtles themselves, they're actually a very interesting and important part of the lore of Avatar. No, the issue is their sudden introduction with no setup. So in the new series, they should be set up over time. Throughout the series, the idea of lion turtles should be planted, with references to them being rare creatures, maybe a rumour of a recent sighting, and even a brief history of the Avatar explaining how they granted them power. This way, when the lion turtle is introduced in series 3, it will have been set up and not feel out of nowhere. Number 4. New Filler One of the things The Last Airbender did best was the use of one-off filler episodes. Episodes that stand alone and can be watched without contributing to the wider story. In long seasons, filler episodes are inevitable, but Avatar does filler so well because it uses them as an opportunity to develop the characters. So while the plot of the series does not progress, the characters do, and so it makes filler episodes far more interesting. Now, with 8 episodes per series, there's not much room for filler, but if we do get filler episodes, I think they should use them to tell new stories. The overall plot of the series and key moments like the attack on the Northern Water Tribe, Crossroads of Destiny, Day of the Black Sun, etc. should all remain the same. But the smaller, filler episodes in between the story should be new. We don't need to see Aang die two rivaling factions across the Great Divide or see Katara become obsessed with a fortune teller again. They should create fun, new stories to tell to keep us invested while still developing the characters. Number three. The Long Journey. Throughout all three series of the show, we see Team Avatar travelling around the world and camping in the wild. Although there's a few references to getting food or money or shelter, overall I don't think that animation leaves an impression that these children have been on a long journey living in awful conditions. It doesn't leave me with that same feeling that something like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 1 does, where you feel the long journey these characters have been on and the impact that their camping has had on them. I think translating this series to live action allows the chance to show the toll that their journey has taken on them, living in the wild with minimal food after all this time. I want to feel that these guys aren't in the best conditions and are sacrificing part of their childhood to save the world. Number two, the Fire Lord. The original animation really focuses on a different villain in each season. 
going from Zuko to Azula to Fire Lord Ozai. While you feel the presence of the Fire Lord across all three seasons, you only really meet him in season three and his appearance was treated as a big reveal. I think that worked for the show but now we know the reveal, we know who Ozai is, and so I think we should meet him from the start. This way we can build his threat up, learn more about him, and have more of a rivalry between him and Aang from the beginning. With only 8 episodes in a season, there wouldn't be much Ozai if we only met him in the final season, and so I think Ozai should be introduced early on and have more to do across the series. And I'm hopeful this is the plan, based on the fact that they have already cast Daniel Day Kim as Ozai. Number 1 character ages. I can't have been the only person surprised when I found out how young most of the characters were meant to be. While the characters are clearly youthful, I never felt like Aang, who was so skilled and moral, was as young as 12, or Azula, who is so mature and manages to outsmart most people. She's only 14. This plus the fact many of the characters are voiced by older voice actors made the team feel like mid to late teenagers instead of early teens. So I think the advantage of live action is that now the characters will clearly feel like younger teenagers, especially because the cast are similar ages to their original characters. Now it truly will feel like this group of children taking on the entire Fire Nation, which I think often got lost in the original animation. Overall, I don't see this live action adaptation being better than the original show, but I hope it does think differently enough to feel justified while still capturing the magic of the original show. The original animation is so good and almost perfect, with little room for improvement, but these are the five things I think could be improved or changed to help bring this show into live action. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think of Avatar in the comments below. Is there anything you think they should change when adapting this series to live action? As always, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it, and be sure to like the video, and feel free to subscribe for more videos like this every Friday. But for now, thanks for watching, Cinemaze.